Okay, I on MPI, brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Lady Ada, what is this week's I on MPI? Okay, this week's I on MPI is by Murata. Uh, they make all sorts of precision industrial sensors and devices. Uh, we've covered them before um, from some of their power supply stuff, including a cool video. Um, but this week, we're going to uh, cover a interesting part I've never used before. It's an inclinometer. Uh, this is the SCL3300 inclinometer. It is um, a sensor that, as you may guess, measures inclines, tilt. Um, uh, so this is a, a fairly new uh, sensor. It's got a SPI uh, interface. Um, you know, it's kind of this big chunky piece. Uh, you know, runs on three volts and uh, will give you both acceleration out and angle, tilt angle. It has a couple different modes and we'll go into those in more detail. Um, so the first thing you might be wondering is, well, wait a minute, you know, an inclinometer measures tilt against, uh, you know, the Earth's gravitational field. Because, you know, the ground may not be flat, but the center of Earth, the, the, where gravity points towards, is going to be a constant. And so that's a good way of measuring what's flat. Um, and a lot of people, you know, engineers who might be watching will be like, hey, you know, why don't you just use an accelerometer? Uh, accelerometer measures gravity. And then when you measure gravity um, against three axes, you can tell where the vector of gravity is pointing. And then you kind of do a little bit of sine cosine action there. Um, as shown here, this is a, a nice app note, I think um, that I found either from ST or NXP. You can do the math and figure out what the angle in uh, the, the three, uh, 3D angle vector is um, towards center of gravity. Um, that's your tilt. So why not just use an accelerometer? Um, and we do have a lot of accelerometers, and one of the demos that we often have for accelerometers is, you know, yes, taking that, um, taking the the meters per second squared measurement. Um, you know, if something's totally flat against the ground, um, the x will be zero, the y will be zero, um, and the z will be um, negative nine point eight meters per second squared, because um, that's your gravitational force. And of course, if you're moving it, you'll get the acceleration of motion as well as the acceleration of gravity. But yeah, you know, as long as things are staying still, yes, you can measure tilt. Um, and the answer is yes, you, you can use an accelerometer for that. However, um, accelerometers tend to be designed for, you know, high motion. They're, they're meant for, you know, a, a game, a toy or a detecting tilt for a monitor whether or a phone, whether you've tilted it um, for landscape or portrait. They're not designed for very delicate, small angle measurements. Um, so, for example, here, this is, uh, you know, a common accelerometer. And you can see when you get into the highest resolution mode possible, you get one uh, milli G. Uh, G is, you know, 9.8 meters, et cetera, et cetera, per second, one G, one milli G per low, you know, least significant digit. Um, whereas for the SCL3300, they have it in inverse. They say the best is going to be 12,000 LSB per G if you invert it, blah, blah, blah. It's 0 0.08. So it's about, you know, 12, 15 times more precise than, um, you know, even a 2G accelerometer. Uh, so basically, it's, it is an accelerometer, but it's a very, very precise, stable, and accurate accelerometer that won't have a very high range on purpose because it's designed to um, measure just gravitational, like it, it doesn't really go above, as you see, 1.2 G. Um, it's designed really to only measure small changes in tilt and um, you know, incline, not motion. Like this is a very bad sensor if you want to measure um, a tap or a hit or you know, a car acceleration, um, not good. Very good for it staying very still. It's on a piece of equipment or it's on a, um, a bridge or a building and it's measuring uh, the tilt changes. Another thing is um, compared to low cost accelerometers, you're gonna have much, much better uh, temperature uh, stability um, and also um, just offset uh, stability over time. So, you know, using these sensors, they're basically just like really, 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 really good accelerometers that are not meant for active motion. And so you're gonna pay more because it is, you know, 10, 20 times more precise and more accurate. Um, you're gonna get a lot more bits of precision. Um, you're gonna get a lot more accuracy as well. Um, and you're gonna pay for it. And usually accelerometers, again, they're not designed for this. So it's kind of a subset 
of an accelerometer. Um, another thing is the noise density. Um, here is a, um, sorry, this, this is the L SCL3300, so you can see um, the best noise density is about 15 micro G per uh, root hertz. And then um, for a common, sorry, one moment. For a common uh, accelerometer, uh, you're going to get 220 micro G per root hertz. So, you know, basically, um, again, 10 to 15 uh, times uh, lower noise, um, which is important because you want to make sure, like, not only are you getting um, the, the data, but you're not going to get a lot of uh, variation in the data because uh, it's meant for long-term measurements. Okay. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, last up, um, like many um, sensors that are designed for, um, you know, industrial or uh, robotic uses, um, the uh, data has, uh, you know, status. There you can get status of the sensor, which I think is really important. And there's a CRC checksum uh, for SPI as well. So, you know, you can make sure that the data you're sending and receiving uh, comes in correctly. Um, you don't have any bit errors due to uh, noise or what have you. Um, something that I look for in, in, a, in a good quality sensor. If you're paying the money for an inclinometer, uh, you want to make sure the data you're getting is really um, the right data. Also available in an eval board. Um, if you want to get started real quickly, um, this eval board has all the little passives ready for you. It's a breadboard friendly. It's got uh, big honking mounting holes, uh, four of them, so you can stay nice and secure. And then um, you, know, you can read the SPI data out with any microcontroller or microcomputer. Available on DigiKey. It's in stock. Yeah, this is a screenshot from just right before the show. It's, it's available. You can buy it. Um, so that's really important. Um, and I looked, and as, as, for inclinometers, this is definitely the least expensive um, inclinometer, but it's fully featured, uh, and I think will do the job quite well for all sorts of industrial and robotic purposes. Okay, and we have a video. Yes. This, so I'll say one thing. The video is for the SCA3300. That's the accelerometer version, but it's, I believe they're either very similar or this is a reprogrammed version. It's the same functionality. It's just this is the inclinometer output, not the accelerometer output. this week's Eye on MPI. Eye on MPI.